Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. If you've been in my last two live streams, you would know that I put too much weight in my network rack that was hanging on the wall. It fell down, smacked me in the head. So now we're gonna rebuild my network rack, but this time we're gonna use a StarTech 25U rack that's on wheels. We're gonna take it out of my cold cellar and then mount all my Ubiquiti gear back in. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You'd find us on Instagram at Mac Telecom Networks, and we have a Discord server. I'll put the link in the description below. So I'm going to bring my camera downstairs. We'll have to start assembling the rack and then moving all the gears and cables over. We're going to be re-terminating all my cables. Here is the new rack in the box. So we have to get that out and we need to put it together. I'm going to put the rack in this back corner. If we look up at the joist, you can see where all my cables are running through. So we'll pull that out and then bring it back down to the corner rack. Let's take a look of my rack that's fallen off the wall. It's now just laying on the ground. And here's the rack. It is on the ground. We got a bunch of cables over there. Things fell out. The cables are all pulled. So we definitely need to get this up and running in the new rack before anything else crashes. Um, so we're going to be disassembling all of this. I'm going to end up cutting those cables and then moving it into the new rack. So hopefully the light is good enough to do this. There's not many lights down in my basement, but we're gonna start assembling the rack and it will be time-lapse. Okay, and here is our rack completely assembled and it's a 25U rack. It's a little bigger than I thought it was gonna be, but that's okay. So now next steps, we need to get all the cable that's up there, put into this rack, start terminating, and then put all of our Ubiquiti devices in the rack. Now I have all the cables pulled out of the existing network room. Um, none of these are labeled. The two main important ones for me are my WAN connections and we'll have to tone those out. But right now we're just gonna bundle these together with some Velcro and I'm gonna use a cable comb to make these a little straighter. I probably could comb them with my hands but I'll show you how to use this. For the cable comb, I'll pull the blue center out and then we'll just start laying in our cables in these slots. Now with all the cables in the cable comb, I'm gonna start placing Velcro above it and then we'll just work our way down to make it nice and straight. Now you can see that I put a bunch of Velcro at the top, so all we need to do is pull the cable comb down and then we'll bring the Velcro with us so it makes one neat bundle. Okay, so now I have the tone generator plugged into the cable connecting to my ISP modem. We need to tone it out. So it sounds like it's this cable right here. And we could verify by just taking it separately and toning it. I'm going to set this cable aside onto the right hand of the rack as it's going to go probably on the patch panel on port 23 so we could connect it to my UDM Pro uplink. Now really all the rest of the cables I don't care about because I'll see what they're connected to when we plug them into my USW Enterprise switch. We will still label it at the back and the front. So now what we need to do, we need to start terminating all these cables. You'd see right here that I've already put in a 24 port keystone patch panel and this is what we'll be terminating to. Since I have the USW24 Enterprise, we could start at port number one and go to 24 and use a six inch patch cable across. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna put all these cables into the patch panel and I'm using vertical cable keystone jacks. I use the vertical cable eye punch tool and I may do a separate video on how to terminate cables. So this will be a time lapse.
All right, the terminations are done and we could see that we have numbers one to 14 and then we have number 23, which is gonna be our ISP connection. I filled it with these white keystone blanks. Typically I do black, but these are what I had. I never leave them open slot as it looks sloppy. We take a look on the top, I put a couple pieces of Velcro and then all my cables across. And then we just have the extra cable right now hanging to this piece of drywall, but I will mount it to one of the joists to take the pressure off. The next step, I need to take all my gear off the old rack and put it onto this new rack. So we'll have to put in a couple cage nuts the first thing that will go below the patch panel is our USW24 Enterprise switch. Okay, so now everything is racked. We could see at the top we have our 24 port patch panel and then the 24 port Enterprise PoE switch. Below that we have our UDM Pro and then we have our USW Pro aggregation switch. On the bottom, we have the Unify RPS and then the UNVR Pro and a CyberPower UPS. So what we need to do now, we need to patch the keystones into the switch. And this time I'm gonna use red six inch slim patch cables. These things are awesome and I love the way they look when they're patched into our switch. So let's go ahead and get these in. Now all our copper connections are made, we need to do our uplinks between our switches and I'll be mostly using DAC cables for this. So I have a few different size of DAC cables here and then we have a super long one which will be connecting to our UNVR. So the first connection I'm gonna make is between my USW Enterprise switch and the Aggregation Pro switch. So I'll put the DAC cable into it and then we'll connect it to port 32. And now we'll make a connection from our UDM Pro down to our aggregation switch. And we'll place this into port 31. Okay, and we have my DAC cables now plugged in and we could see there's one here and that's going down to my UNVR Pro. On the side, I ran my cables that are going down to the URPS. We have our data cable right here and then we have our power cables on the other side. And one last thing I'll show you before we power this up is how to test a network cable. This is just a basic wire map tester which will tell us if all of our connectors are done properly. So I'm going to plug it into my ISP connection and on the other side I have this other module that plugs in here. So I'll plug it into the ISP connection and then here you can see it says network so we'll click network. And all the way across, I'm not too sure if you could see that, but it says one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that means that it's passed. And we can see on the top that it's passed. So now what we have to do, we have to plug in the ISP link into our UDM Pro and then power all this up. that's it for this video we've got the rack put up we terminated all of our cables and our access points and switches and cameras are all online one thing we didn't do i didn't show you the labeling we'll do that in a separate video along with certified testers if you want to see more videos like this make sure to hit the subscribe button if you like this video please hit the thumbs up all right thanks